Hi, Hiram here. Still working with this Espit stove set. Trying to think of ways to maybe make the time a little better. And last night I was got to thinking or daydreaming, wondering if this might be the same problem we have with the canteen cup stoves. Remember some time back I did a couple of tests where I put the canteen cup down in the canteen cup stove or I did it where I turned it, what, 180 degrees? so that it was offset and up from the stove and it seemed to work better. This is, might be the same idea. When this pot and stove is right, the pot fits down in the stove, so whatever heat is coming up from here comes up and then out through these holes. The problem is, this is only a couple of inches of uh, flat surface here. Then the flames come out and up and don't actually hit the pot. Here in this video from uh, one of the other tests, you'll see what I mean. See how the, the flames just came out and up and away and didn't really hit the pot at all. So what my idea today is maybe take a couple of nails and lay them across this Oops. see something if this works the groove should be filed in there and then just set the pot on top of that it worked before there just like that that way there's a gap here for the flames to come out and around the pot so Let's try this. I've got two cups of water here. And I've been asked, why do I keep using two cups of water if it doesn't heat up? Well, my standard size to see how well a stove works is two cups. Also, the Espit pot is marked at a maximum for two cups or 16 ounces. So I figure if they've got the markings there, it should be able to work somehow. Okay, we'll see what the temperature is on that. I have an ounce of alcohol here, denatured alcohol. Pour that in the caudal, caudal vertical wick. I really should have named that something a little bit easier to say. Put that in the base. Okay, here's my two nails. Two cups of water. Like I said, this will have to be made a little bit better if this looks like it works. I don't know if you can see, but now there's a gap. coming up through the top so that the flame should come up around the pot. Okay, the temperature now for the water from the difference in the pot is 54 degrees. Let's light that. And let's see where this goes. <clears throat> there we have 210, 211, to 12 at 5 minutes 41 seconds boiling water from 54 degrees to 212 in 5 minutes 41 that's a bit that is better than before on the previous test just like this but without the nails it took 8 minutes and 12 seconds so that's you know a couple of minutes there saved and it's still going so it looks like we should be able to get uh, safe water to drink two cups of it at least here you know you could always mix it in with your coffee or tea or whatever to drink but at least it would be safe water if there's no toxic chemicals and stuff in it so it kinda looks like now I'll show you some video you saw some video that I took of another camera close up the flames were completely going up the sides 
So that means not only is it the bottom of the pot that's heating up, but the sides are also heating. You could actually take a piece of uh, windscreen, put it on there, so that it directs the flames up and over the sides. In this case, I can't do it because of the nails are here. I'm going to see if I have any flat wire that I can use instead of nails. This tends to roll a little bit much, and I really don't want to cut grooves into this pot stand, although I could. Okay, we're working on seven minutes here, so you would definitely have safe water now. Now, the one other problem with this whole rig is I've had people asking me, is this good for cooking food? I would say no. It's good for boiling water to, you know, put in your dehydrated food and stuff. But I don't know about putting food in here to try to cook it, like eggs or stuff like that. I think this is mostly just a water heating type of a cook kit. Hmm. Kind of happy with that. That's better. Not super fast, but better. Maybe with a different stove, different burner in there. Okay, this is just about ready to burn out. can see the edges of the wicking glowing that usually means or that means that the alcohol is gone and there it runs out let's say in 8 minutes 20 seconds so I thank you for watching look forward to your input questions remarks your thoughts on this and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now Good boy, Max.